Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform vector operation. Before we go with vector operation, I'm going to show you how to create a vector. So let's say I have a bunch of grades to store and I'm going to use vector name grade. And I'm going to use combine function to add my values for grade okay now when I enter this value you will find that global environment holds the value for grade okay now if I just typed in grade and hit enter then the values from global environment will be printed as you can see here now the values are printed right here next thing what if I want to find mean for this vector so I'm going to use mean function and then type in my vector name which is grade and I get the mean of the values within my vector and then the mean from those values will be printed similarly we can do some arithmetic operation within our vector as well so let's say if I want to use my vector that will basically do addition of my current vector with 5 and if I print it out then you will find that each of my vectors value is incremented with 5 so 10 becomes 15 20 becomes 25 and so on similarly you can use logical operator as well so use your vector name and then check whether it's greater than or equal to 30 and you'll find that each value within your vector will be tested against 30 so 15 is not greater than 13 25 is not then 45 is greater than 30 65 and then 35 as well Okay, now what if you want to work with multiple vector input and output? Now, for that, let's create another vector that holds value for one student. So 10, 11, 12, and 13. So this is grade 1. Then we have grade 2. I'm going to use combined function. So 21. 22, 23, 24. Now let's use grade 3, which is going to be combination of grade 1 plus grade 2. And what it will do is it will combine the value with each vector and will store it in our grade 3. And if I enter grade 3 then it will be sum of these two vectors so what we've seen so far is how to create vector then how to print that vector then how to find out mean value of vector then arithmetic operation then logical operator that we can use then multiple vector input and output in short you get the idea how to work with vector so this was a short video on vector operations